Hi guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel and today we're gonna talk about the latest release from Detail Cosmetics, the Satin Lux Light. So the reason why I'm going to review this product is because I saw this upon scrolling through Instagram and I saw that it's a very hydrating and moisturizing lip treat. Of course, we all want a healthy looking lips. That's why I really want to give my thoughts about this product. Also, this product is actually very promising because it has three key ingredients that are full of hydrating properties. The first one being shea butter. It also has cocoa butter and sweet almond oil. Those three key ingredients almost have the same capabilities. That's why this product, the Satin Lux Light, is really going to be a moisturizing powerhouse. Let's now talk about the makeup breakdown. Let's talk about the packaging. So I have here with me the Satin Lux Light and it looks and feels very luxe. The size is also small and compact so it's easy to fit in your pockets as well as inside your purse. According also to its packaging, it has a power period after opening of 12 months and it's cruelty free and it's free also of animal testing. Also, according to its packaging, it's cruelty-free and it has no animal-derived ingredients. It has a power or a period after opening of 12 months and it's also recyclable. Since this is also bomb-like, it is not advised to store it under direct sunlight. So I think that's gonna make the product melt. So just be sure to keep this one in a cool place. Other details such as its batch number, its manufacturing, and expiration date are also available in its packaging. This one, the box that comes with it. And although this is distributed and formulated in the Philippines, it is made in China. Currently, there are six available shades of the Satin Lux Light. Four gives sheer coverage while there are two that are skin intuitive which means that they will adapt on the natural pH level of your lips to give that complementary color. I bought one of each, so I have one that gives a sheer coverage. I have here with me Soda Pop, which is described as a mahogany brown. And I have another one in the shade Pink Aid, which is a Skin Intuitive Pink. With regards to the smell, the two shades I have give a lemony or citrusy vibe with a hint of vanilla. The Satin Lux Light retails for 199 pesos and I think that it is fairly priced considering that it has amazing ingredients. To add to that, it also has a sheer coverage which gives your lips a bit of a color. You can check this out through Shopee and Lazada through Detail Cosmetics official store. Now, according to the packaging of this product, this is how it must be applied. Apply one layer if you want a sheer moisturized wash of color. You can also layer on to build your desired pigmentation. Based from my experience, I actually enjoy applying this lip product because it glides on very smoothly and it gives a moisturizing effect instantly. Also, since it gives a sheer coverage, I don't need any mirror at all applying this. So I can just do like this and not look at any mirror at all. It's very easy to use also. This one I'm applying is in the shade Soda Pop. Proceeding now to the performance of this product, you're gonna see some clips about how it performed throughout my day. Hello guys, it's now 8.09 in the morning and I'm going to try and apply the Detail Cosmetics Satin Lux Light in the shade Soda Pop. As for the color, it's not opaque but it gives a hint of a fresh looking finish. It feels nice to reapply because it glides on very smoothly and it made my lips feel very moisturized. Let's see if it transfers. Yeah, meron siyang transfer. So this one is not transfer proof. If you're gonna wear a mask, expect also that this is gonna transfer to your mask. I'll do another check-in after three hours. 
Hi guys! 3 hours have already passed since I first worn itong Detail Cosmetics na Satin Lux Light in Soda Pop. So, ito na yung itsura ko right now. Kumain ako ng breakfast kanina and I observed na nag-wear off na rin yung product sa lips ko. I can also see na medyo merong brownish pa rin na tint na natira sa aking lips and I feel like meron pa rin yung moisturizing or hydrating effect niya sa lips ko. I'll just try to reapply and see how it will work. No problem at all building the coverage or reapplying. This is really good to bring with you for touch-ups to keep your lips hydrated or moisturized. Hello, it's now 1 o'clock in the afternoon and I want to try naman the other shade which is Pink 8. Yan, in terms of the formula, same lang din siya with the other one that I have which is in the shade Soda Pop. It glides very easily. Ang napapansin ko, the more that you put, lalong nagiging pinkish yung color niya. I'm gonna do another check-in after 3 hours to see kung ano ba yung changes na mangyayari. Is it gonna wear off? Is it gonna stay? Hello! 3 hours na ang nakalipas since I applied the Satin Lux Light in the shade Pink E. Currently, wala nang mapapansin or mafe-feel na balm texture. I was drinking something and I was using a straw. So, nag-transfer na yung product over there. You can already see na ito na yung real color ng lips ko eh sa loob. Pero dito sa labas, medyo meron pa siya. Pero sobrang liit lang. Let's now talk about my verdict. So, the first claim of this product is hydrating and moisturizing. Yes, I actually agree that it hydrates and moisturizes the lips. Even after the color has washed off, I can still feel that my lips is very plump. Very healthy looking and kissable indeed. The second claim is its glowy finish. So with this, I can actually attribute it to its hydrating and moisturizing properties plus the sheer coverage that it gives. The last claim is soft kissable wash of color. And yes, thanks to its sheer coverage as well as the skin intuitive lip color that they have, you can actually build it also depending on your preferred pigmentation. With that, I recommend the Detail Cosmetics Satin Lux Light. Thank you so much again for watching my vlog. I'll see you on the next one. Ingat!